Hello everyone. My name is Dallas Knight. I'm the youth director here at South Highland Presbyterian Church. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what the Lord has been teaching me uh, during this Lenten season. So one of the things uh, in scripture that I am most fascinated by is the wilderness, which I know might sound a little uh, strange, a little bleak, but hear me out. Uh, scripture likens the Christian life to the wilderness. There, is, there are trials and difficulties and, and even death in the wilderness, and so too with life. Uh, but uh, Scripture makes it clear that this is where we encounter the Lord, that this is where He uh, comes to us and meets us. Consider the, uh, the exodus that the Israelites uh, had from Egypt out of slavery when they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. This is when He parted the Red Sea and uh, helped them escape from the Egyptians. This is where he provided bread from heaven on a daily basis. This is where he provided water from a rock in the middle of a desert. This is also where he uh, let his presence be physically seen with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Yes, the, the wilderness, the Christian life has its trials and its difficulties, but it is also a place where the Lord lets his presence be, be known, be uh, heard and seen and He will not ever abandon us here. Connected with that is also the idea that the wilderness is not the end for us. We Christians know that we are bound for the promised land, that we are meant for something beyond the, the, this desert. And so as we go through this Lenten season, I invite us to not only ponder the ways in which the Lord is caring for us and providing for us, but uh, to renew our hope and the promised land that we are heading towards.